Hey guys, it's Georgia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If y'all are new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I'm going to be customizing my little scent car clip that I have from Bath & Body Works. Um, I bought just a plain black one. and I'm just going to be making a little clay figure to put on top of it to make it a little more me and, you know, bring a little bit of color to my car. So yeah, um, I hope you guys like it, but let's get started. So this is the scent clip I'm going to be using. It just sort of twists open and closed to let more or less of the scent go through and then it pops open so you could change the scent that was inside. I'm mainly going to be decorating that strip down the middle since I don't want the entire thing to be empty or weird. So I'm just making sure that I'm measuring the right size since I am printing out a stencil to make my clay item on. I knew I wanted to do a cowboy boot so I just found a basic line art drawing of a cowboy boot and I'm cutting it out to the right shape and size so that I have the right proportions as opposed to just sort of freehanding something. This was also going to make it look much better in my head to than what like it could have been if I was just sort of shaping it. So I am cutting out each part of the boot so I have a stenciled place on top of the clay before cutting it. I don't really work with clay a whole lot so I'm just doing my best here but here are the three that I'm going to be using for the project today. Also bringing in a couple bags so that the clay doesn't get stuck to my working station. I'm going to be starting with this beige uh, clay in a way. Uh, it was kind of moist on the outside but really dry on the inside so I'm just mixing it all together to get it to all the same consistency and it ended up working. Um, like I said, this is air dry clay so I didn't need to be too, too careful with it. Just flattening it out as best I can. And again, I don't work with clay very often so I'm just using what I have, using a marker as a roller so that it can be flat and I can put the stencil pieces that I wanted this color to be down. Now again, I don't have a lot of clay tools, but I do have this I got from the dollar store. It's like a little needle on one end and then just sort of flat on the other. So I'm just gonna be tracing around the stencil at first to try and get the design out of the clay. After I tried this the first time and I tried to pull the extra clay away, it did not work. So I ended up just sort of going next to the paper and pushing the clay outside so that I could just have the design left over and this ended up working very well for at least my purposes. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it and I don't think it is but it worked to get the two stencils I wanted. I then went in with the more dull rounded edge to just sort of smooth out the sides of the shoe until it was nice and done. With that done, bringing another bag in and I'm just gonna be using the light pink clay for this part. Um, like I said, this was my sister's, so a lot of this pink clay was dried already, so I'm using what I could, mixing it up the exact same way and just flattening it out the same way that I did the original one. This did take a little more time because I needed to make sure it was the same size as the first pieces so that they all looked right once it was mixed together, placed together like puzzle in a way. Using this part for what would go over your calf and ankle on a cowboy boot, just making sure that that's in there. And since I learned from my mistakes on the first one, rather than tracing it, I'm just sort of going next to the clay and pulling all of the excess away so that I can get my original shape. This was not the right size once I took away all the excess clay to the original two pieces I made, so I just smoothed it out a little bit and took away all the other little excess parts. This was a lot harder than with the big piece of clay since it was more difficult to move the small parts. But I was able to finish it and I can then just go round out all the edges so I don't have any sharp bits. The last bit of clay I'm using is that hot pink clay. So again, taking it out of the package, mixing it so it's all the same consistency, flattening it to the same size as the other two, and using this one for the actual shoe where your foot would rest. Again, pulling everything away from the paper so that I just get the stencil out and just sort of smoothing that out at the end. Then once I finish this hot pink part, I have all uh, four pieces of the shoe ready. Now that the shoes are ready, before they even dry, I decided it would be best to shape them and put them all together just so that if there were any issues, it could sort of mold together and change that way rather than me having to figure out how to sand really, really fine details onto already dried clay. And since it was air dry, I knew it wouldn't be the same as ceramic. I did try and flatten out with just the rolling pin and it didn't really work too, too well. But I'm adding that line down the middle with the pointy side of my tool just so that I can get a little bit of dimension in there. Taking the paper off to make sure it doesn't dry on there. And then I tried to smooth out the edges and fix any sort of 
spots where the two clays connected um this did not turn out how i had anticipated so i did end up fixing it in a couple seconds but just trying to make it as smooth and as seamless as possible and re redefining those lines down the middle of the boot with that done i just set it over the uh, scent clip to make sure that it would fit because it is sort of a rounded clip and i didn't want to put a flat item and have that break over something that has a dome once that had dried, I realized I did not like how the connections in between the colors worked. So I'm taking a little bit of that beige uh, clay and just adding some black paint to make a little bit of a black rim. It's more dark gray, but to try and make an outline in between all of the colors. I just rolled it out very, very thinly like most kids do with Play-Doh to try and make as thin lines as possible so I could put it in between the colors without it being the entire shoe because I wanted the majority of it to be that bright pink. Placing it in between each of the colors, trying to flatten it out as I go since I didn't want these giant ridges and I needed to make sure that it would cover any little hole or seam while keeping the cowboy boot shape. Once I finished the part with the black, I did decide to go through and on that line that goes down the middle of the boot, I did a little bit of the hot pink where the hot pink base part of the shoe is and that light pink where the uh, lighter pink part of the shoe is. I just think that bringing it out rather than having it go in was going to make it look a lot nicer, especially when it is going to be probably far away from anyone who would see. I thought that would be a little more clear. Once it dried, I realized how dark that black was and it did not look right with all of the light pink and the hot pink. So I did just go over it with silver. I thought this would, well, it would make it shinier. It would tone down the colors a little bit and make it a little brighter so that the pink looked more vibrant and didn't look so dull. Once that had dried before adding any other designs to it, I did just sort of go through and snip off any edge pieces that weren't straight. Um, since this was air dry clay, it was almost a foam texture, so it wasn't too, too hard to just snip off with scissors. I tried to use an X-Acto knife, but it was just too thick and the pieces were too thin or too weird. I don't really know what the problem was, but it just was not working. And while this made small details difficult, I was able to get it nice and smooth so I can finish the design. I am putting this pink glitter paint over both pink parts of the shoe. I think this will just add something because it looked a little bit naked, a little like it was missing something, but I knew if I added another figure or a design, it was going to get way too hectic, way too chaotic for something so small. So I figured glitter would just add something, tie the light and dark pink together, but not be too, too overbearing. Once that was done, the last part of paint that I'm going to be doing on this is around the edges. I decided to bring the silver paint pen back and rather than make an outline, I just sort of went over all of the edges with silver. Almost looks like stained glass in a way, but I think at the end of the day, it just sort of cleaned it all up, tied it all together. Um, in the future, I would probably use very, very thin black clay, but like I said, I will need to work on that because this ended up working pretty good for what I needed it to do. Last part of working on the clay is just to do with the Mod Podge. I just like to do this on most of my projects that are painting or making something just so that it doesn't chip. It makes it a lot less likely to fade and especially with something with glitter, this is going to keep all of that glitter on there. When I pulled it off of the plastic, it was stuck a little bit so I just had to go around and trim those little spots. But now it's ready to go right onto the event clip. So I'm sort of hot gluing it so that the boot is mainly covering the right side just using my hot glue gun to get a nice strip along the back right and a little triangle where like your the top of your foot would be pressing that in as best as it could since I don't want this to move or fall off or have a lot of places where it could start wiggling from I think it looks perfect like this but it was still missing something so I decided to just take a couple of these 3D pearl uh, like stickers that I had and just hot gluing them around that little section on the side the pink the silver pearl really matches well with the silver outlining of the entire boot and in between the colors and since it's so small I thought that the muted design would help make it seem full without making it seem like its own thing. Unfortunately with the hot glue it did overflow on the sides so I did just take an exacto knife and I'm just sort of pulling all of that extra hot glue away. While this left some scratches on the case I think those were much less visible than giant globs of glue. 
And with that, this is finished. I really think that it did come out well. I wanted a pink cowboy boot. I have little coasters in my car that are pink cowboy hats and western wear and stuff like that. So I think that this was really nice. Um, I do know that I need to work on my clay skills, but for something so small, I think that I did pretty well and I'm content with it. I'm not trying to sell these, but if you guys liked them, I'm sure I could figure out a way to make them better, more efficiently. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please remember to like, comment, all that stuff, and if you want to see me do more projects in the future, you can subscribe to my channel. All my other social media links are linked down below so you can see more from me and my friends, as well as my Etsy and Mercari if you wanted to buy something that was in a video or maybe in a future video. But yeah, um, I hope you guys like this. Thanks so much. Bye.